Hi everyone, Tasha here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to create a mini slimline card using items from the Hedgehog Hollows May subscription box. This month's box is all about musical items and it's music themed, which I love. And it comes with this really fun guitar stencil, which I'm going to use for my project. This stencil includes the spotlight portion and then also the masking, so that center cutout, so you can mix and match to create your design. For my project, I'm going to just use the spotlight part of the guitar. I did use some pixie spray on the back, and this makes the back a little tacky so that you can lay it right onto your paper and it won't move around or shift while you're coloring. To start, I'm using Candied Apple Distress Oxide Ink. This is a really pretty color, and I don't tend to grab it often, but I thought today I'll try to mix it up a little bit. So I decided to use the Candied Apple Red mixed with the Wilted Violet. And Wilted Violet is one of my favorite shades. I just love this um, purple color. And I was surprised at how much I love these two colors together. It was just really pretty, and it framed the guitar um, perfectly. Once I was done ink blending, I gently pulled up the stencil, making sure that I didn't smear it since it was still a little bit wet. And then I used my scanning cut to cut out the image. You can also fussy cut or just leave it flat on the paper. So once I had my image cut out, I decided to go in and start my stamping. I'm going to use both of the music notes included in the smaller stamp set and then Color Hive Eclipse Black Ink. I wanted to stamp along the handle part of the guitar and I didn't want to get any ink on the white edge so I just used some tape to mask it off. I'm going in with my stamping block and then the Color Hive Eclipse Black Ink and I'm just going to stamp along that handle but I'm moving it around so this way it's not exactly the same music notes all the way down. So I'm just kind of giving it some interest and I really like having that added detail. I just think it looks really neat with the music notes and um, the color that I used with the red popping through. Once I was done stamping that handle part, I'm using the swirl music notes and I'm going to stamp that where that opening of the guitar usually is on the bottom and I'm using my block again. This was a little risky since you only really get one shot at this so I just made sure I held it down and applied enough pressure and it did stamp great. The Color Hive ink really helps because this ink is, I don't know, it's just it's great for stamping and you really usually only need one pass at it to get a good image. For the sentiment, I'm using Every Memory has its own soundtrack and then again with the same Eclipse Black ink, but this time I'm using my Misty just because it was the sentiment I wanted to make sure it stamped correctly. And it only needed one stamp. I used the new Maker Forte um, First Impression Smushing Tool and I think that's really helping me because I do tend to have more pressure on one end than the other, but with the tool, I only needed to stamp it once. The colors that I'm using for the layers are this really pretty shade of pink, a purple that coordinates with the Wilted Violet Distress Oxide ink, and then for the background behind the guitar, I'm using a black glitter cardstock or piece of paper. And this black glitter is so sparkly and pretty. It almost looks like little specks of silver glitter when the light hits it. For the guitar, I'm using some foam tape and I'm just gonna cut it um, down the middle to make it a little thinner so that that handle part of the guitar um, has enough foam so it doesn't like, you know, it has even foam all the way down. And then once I had it all attached on here, I'm just gonna adhere it directly onto my card itself. I wasn't sure if I was going to put it slanted or if I was going to put it um, straight up and down, but I decided I'll just have it centered in the card. And I love how those um, colors in the layer coordinate perfectly with the Distress Ink or Distress Oxide colors. 
To complete the design, I'm going in with a pretty heart rhinestone from Maker Forte, and I'm using my Maker Forte picker tool to kind of help me position that rhinestone within the card. That swirl has a little opening, which is a perfect spot to put um, either uh, an enamel heart or um, one of these little rhinestone hearts, and it just adds a little more sparkle, which I love. So this is my project. I just love the box, um, the box for May because it has a whole bunch of music um, instruments and sentiments that you don't usually see. And it was really fun to play with. All the items will be listed below. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.